this week on the dedicated server. Dan, we're back! Yay! Yay! And we're not going to talk about Gamergate. No, we are not. That would make me angry. Plus, I'm just tired of hearing about it. Yeah, me too. Anyway, I'm Jeremy. And I'm Dan. And this is the dedicated server. Man, does it feel good to be back. It sure does. Yeah. Sorry that we had to take that two-month hiatus, I think it was. Um, our last episode was pre-San Diego Comic-Con. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. So a bit more than two months, two months? but I see what you're saying, yes. Yeah, that's four at this point, right? Yeah, it's getting going on. How are you, Dan? Oh, I am. I am good now. I am good now. We're, we're not going to go into all the reasons why we had to take our high hiss. Long story short, life got in the way. It did. Uh, life is now out of the way. Yeah, we were even... We, we have slain the raid boss of life. We have. We were even planning an extra special comeback because, for once, we were going to be in the recording studio at the same time in New Jersey, and then my car died, and I didn't get to go to New York Comic Con with Dan this year. That was horrible. Yeah, that was not fun. But Dan got to do some cool stuff in New York Comic Con. Yes, it was a blast. It was actually better for video games, in my opinion, than San Diego Comic Con. Really? Like, it celebrated video games a little bit more. Like, there wasn't a whole lot of big news, per se. But just, like, you, you felt like the people there were a bit more excited about video games. You know? That's good. Was there a lot of cosplay? Of course. No, I mean video game Oh, cosplay. video game cosplay? No, actually. No, huh. I mean, if you think about all the big franchises out there right now for video games, the franchises have been out there a while already. Yeah, I guess that's so, true. So, I mean, you're not going to see a whole bunch of big new characters coming out. Yeah. What have you been playing lately? Me? Um, I've been revisiting some games that have been out for a while now. Like, I started playing Terra Online recently that's been out a while now oh 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 oh, 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 oh what 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 oh God, what if you have not heard star wars episode 7 is titled the force awakens i love star wars not nearly as much as you i love star wars but 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 video games i know video but games. that ties into something i wanted to talk about okay Okay, I'll give you a bit of leeway here. E EA Games and Dice came out a couple weeks ago and formally said that Star Wars Battlefront for next gen will be hitting in time for next holiday season, which is right around when Episode Seven's coming out. Okay. So, so in the near future, I would say probably like January, February, we're going to start seeing some actual game footage, if I had to guess. Now... Do you think it will have Episode 7 content in it? That's... I'm kind of thinking it's going to. It's so close. They're going to tie it so close to the release that I bet you it comes out about the week before Thanksgiving next year, which is going to be right before, right during the ramp-up of Episode 7 hype. And I, I am literally vibrating in the studio right now thinking about it. I, I can't wait. All right. Anything else you're looking forward to? No, no. <laughs> um, yeah, there's what? actually a few. You know what? For the first time in, I think, three years, I've pre-ordered a video game. What game? Was it, Now, are we talking outside the ones you pre-ordered to get the free shirt, then canceled an hour later? Yes, well, that's what everybody does in San Diego. Okay. Um, it's not going to excite anybody, but I pre-ordered... Far Cry 4 to make sure that I get it on release day. All right. All right. I approve. My neck of the woods, even GameStops, they don't get a lot of copies of games around here. Hmm. So I made sure to pre order that. Um, oh, here's a tip for listeners. Hopefully, this gets posted in time and you hear this. Um, Target next week, starting on Sunday, is going to have a buy two, get one free sale on every video game in the store, no matter the price. So I'm thinking I'm going to pick up a couple games I've had my eye on that I just haven't been able to get my hands on. I, right now, tell me if this sounds like a good lineup. Evil Within. Okay. 
Alien Isolation, okay. which I still have not gotten my hands on yet, besides dying in three seconds at San Diego. And I think Shadows of Mordor. Okay. I've heard okay. I've heard some good things about that I've game. I've heard good things too. I'm not as excited about that about as some other games that have come out. Okay. Um Same money was no option, what games would you buy? And you'd say also that you weren't a crummy PC gamer and you had a next gen console. Everything that is out there right now or is coming out soon? Uh, stuff that will... Oh! Because almost oh. everything I would pre-order at this point. I... I don't know if it works on pre-orders. Don't quote me on that, everybody, because I'm not completely certain, but it might. Also, that we releasing that week, and will be part of the sale, are Assassin's Creed Unity. Oh. Our, our favorite video game oh, wait, series wait, 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 of all wait. time. Wait, now, while we're on the subject of Unity, I have to re-weigh in on my, my opinion. Okay. One second, okay. because also dropping that week is the Master Chief Collection. So if the, I mean seriously, this is a great sale, and they only do it like once or twice a year. Um, take advantage of this, people. It, it's, I mean, a hundred. It's it averages out to like a hundred. Yeah, games. it averages out to one hundred twenty dollars for three brand new video games. That's yes. pretty good. Yeah. Yes. So, and I'm sure there's people on all of the various slick deals type sites that have figured out ways around even paying that much. So <laughs> check out that's check out those deals at Target, pick up some games and like us on Facebook and tell us what games you're picking up during the sale. All right. Now, back to Unity. Back to Unity. It sucks. Okay. Yeah, oh, okay. There's one thing that they showed recently that that is making me think Give it a second thought. Okay? I, I have news about that, but okay, go ahead. Okay. It, it, it's the... Being in other time streams, other time zones. The trailer we see is in freaking World War II. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's going to be any good, or if it's going to be just a complete train wreck of a failure. But at least they're trying something different. It's not going to be different. I, I can't I can't see them actually taking a risk. I mean I'll give them credit where credit's due. Creating a whole other game for last gen to release the same at the same time is kind of a genius move. Mm, I don't wanna have to buy two different games though. You don't have a next gen system, so you can't. I don't, but I... But but at the same time you're not you're not cutting people out of the experience of the fans of the series want it even if they still have a PS3, Xbox 360, mm -hmm. so on, so on. So they're not cutting those people out. I, I can respect that. We've okay. given Ubisoft a lot of yes, a lot of beep on this show. and uh, Personally, I just feel like they bite more than they can chew most of the time. Yeah. And, and that's their downfall. I mean, their sales would argue otherwise, but... Oh, yeah, I mean, they're... I mean, they make solid games. It's just, if you're promising really big things... You have to deliver. Yes. And they don't. Um, um, I have actually played a little bit of Assassin's Creed Unity. How was that? Um, Like every other Assassin's Creed game that's ever come out. <laughs> Alright. All so, right. now I got... I got... Um, I got my hands on a little bit of an early demo, and uh, I wasn't feeling it too much. But, you know, maybe I'll be wrong. I'll probably end up getting it. As much as I rally against Assassin's Creed coming out every year, I'll probably end up getting it, at least playing it for an hour. Yeah, that's on my like my second round list of games to get. What's number one well, on your well, list? Well, actually, let, let's start right here. Right here. Okay. Games to get for the holiday season. Far Cry 4. Okay, Far Cry 4. The Crew. The Crew. WWE 2K15. I'm not joking. I, I, I but, know, I know. But, we've, had, like, we've, had, we've had a 10 minute discussion about this. That comes with a caveat. It only can be for next gen. Because the last gen version of the game is a bare bones, awful money grab edition of a video game. It is god awful. 
if you're listening to this and you have a PlayStation 3 or an Xbox 360 and you want this year's WWE game, just you'd, you'd be better off just setting your money on fire. And it would also make you less... Ha- oh, I can't tell you how horrible that game is for last gen. But next gen has all of the modes you could possibly want that aren't included in the last gen game. And the graphics are phenomenal. So if you like WWE games, or you haven't played them in a while, and you have a next-gen system, I can't stress enough that you need to get WWE 2K15. The end. All right. All right. It's garbage, Dan. No. I'm going to have to go with Four Cry 4 for my list. I As, I mean... We both know how much I'm looking forward to that game. Yeah. And the next game on my list um, doesn't come out till February, but I just finished playing the alpha this past weekend. It's not okay. Evolve. All right. Yeah, I'm Evolve. excited for that game. I, I, I played the alpha. I got more than one match in, and it holds up. Twenty matches later. Interesting. Okay. Well, you liked it. You liked it in San Diego. Yes, I did. But again, we didn't record after San Diego, so nobody knows what we're talking about. Yes, when we yes. were in San Diego, we yeah. got hands-on with certain games, like The Crew. We play, we both played The yes. Crew. I, I played... We both played Alien Isolation, and I got so close to that door. So close. Ah, uh, but you, you died. Yeah. And I got some hands-on with Evolve. Yes. Which I, I raved about then. It was fantastic. And... I'd love it just as much, if not more now. If there's anything I feel like you should take away from this, you should be pre-ordering Evolve as we speak right now. That's just my opinion. Okay? I think a lot of people are going to agree with you on that one. Where? Okay. Um, what about Grand Theft Auto V? That is actually the third on my list. Okay. For next gen. I loved it for the current generation, or old gen, or whatever it's being called now. Last gen. Last gen. Hashtag last gen. This is why I am a PC gamer. Hashtag old gen. (laughs) Okay, anyway. The fact that GTA V can now be played from start to finish in first person mode. I saw that. That every single car has a working interior with the speed dials and everything in their works. And they're not just taking the camera and putting it in the head. They're reworking, retooling it. You, when you pull up again, you get iron sights. You can fire from the hip. It, it changes the dynamic of the entire game. It does. Uh, that's. Ugh, I really don't want to buy that game. <laughs> I, I, but it, it, it's gonna be so good. It's you know what? Be... Here's my surprise addition to the list. Witcher Three. Witcher 3, yes, I saw footage of that at San Diego. It was fantastic. Do you want to know what put me over the edge on that one? Why? They announced that their DLC is going to be free. Dan's clapping if you couldn't hear that. Yes. Yes. Someone has finally done it. That literally makes me want to buy the game. That uh, I was on the fence completely that I'm literally going to buy that game now. I am so glad that someone has taken the first step towards that. And, I mean, it's an impressive list of DLC, man. Um, let's see, what else? Little Big Planet 3? Yes, for any fans of the series. Um, that, which, that'll which, be good. Which, um, if you don't know already, you can play any Little Big Planet map that's already been in there. Absolutely. Which is Which is a nice touch, I like that. Yes. Um, I think that's all I have on my list. I already got... Okay, I'm going to go on a sports tangent again. Um, I've played, since we last talked, I have purchased and played Madden 2015, and it is actually better than last year's. They did make some marked improvement. Um, unfortunately, I already traded it in. <laughs> Um, I traded in to get NBA 2K15, which is always a better game anyway. Um, a little bit disappointed in that game this year, though. The presentation's taken a bit of a hit. I don't like 
the way they they did they handled the presentation this year and the commentary remains grating and annoying whenever Mark Jackson and Steve Kerr are talking but you know what are you going to do um oh, sorry I, if, sorry I was falling asleep during that anyway <laughs> if you were going to buy one if you were going to get a sports game or put it on your christmas list for your parents to buy you or whatever I would go with basketball but just know that man really did a pretty good job this year. I just the Browns won the Super Bowl and that's all that matters. I'm going to throw a bit of a curveball for anyone who knows me out right there. Oh. I I, I kind of want Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I was just going okay. Here's the Call of Duty portion of the show. I've played it. It's actually fun. Okay. I uh, love. It, it, it looks it. It actually. It looks like they actually put effort in the story this time. I really like the flight suit. Oh my! It's God. really jarring <laughs> to play in the flight suit at first, because it's kind of when you're first getting used to it, it's kind of hard to tell what's going on. Mm-hmm. But uh, once you get the hang of it, man, oh man, it's a blast. Because because they're they're actually trying different things for once. Yeah. It, it's not the same game a fourth time in a row. No. And that, and I mean they've had some problems with the servers. That's, but this day and age that always happens. Yeah, there's not much they can do about that. Uh, there's going to be a leap in technology one day where that won't be an issue. But until that happens, I kind of expect that to happen in the first few weeks. Yeah, and ultimately, if you're going to get one console. Or put a console on your Christmas list, or raid a Best Buy on Black Friday, or whatever you plan on doing to get your console fix this holiday season. I would recommend getting a PlayStation 4 over an Xbox. Yes, I would too. Anyone who has listened to the show before knows that. We are a bit of a Sony hunt, although I was sitting in the living room the other day, and for whatever reason, I was like, I should get an Xbox. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I want to. It, yeah. Like, at some point, I want to, but I want to get PS4 first. Yes. Uh, we, I'm sorry, we're Sony honks on this show. They don't pay us, but <laughs> we we like Sony. Sorry, guys. If we ever both get an Xbox and we play it a little bit, maybe we'll swing the other way. And you know what? Maybe a year or two down the road after the next-gen console settle, it might eventually turn the other way. But as it stands right now, PS4. Although I will say, the Xbox dropping its price to three forty nine was a smart move. Yeah, they, they they made a bunch of they're making better decisions now. Not good enough decisions yet, but they're going in a better direction. <laughs> oh wait, you know what? There's a third system. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean in that we us what? Oh, good. yeah, no. Oh. But no, in all seriousness, yeah. Super Smash Brothers. Yes. The thing about Nintendo is they just, they want to let the other two just do their, have their war, and they'll do their own thing off on the side. And they're perfectly content doing that. And they don't care if they make any no. money or anything. No. No, actually, I believe I, I read an article earlier today saying that Reggie from Nintendo said, said, just let the other companies have their console war. That's good to know. Mm-hmm. When they're licensing Mario out to Sony in 10 years, they'll probably be singing a different tune. Although they'll probably make more money. Probably. <laughs> if they ever actually do that. Yeah. Um, for next episode, and guess what, guys? We're going back to weekly. Yay! Um, next hey. episode, I'm going to do a little bit more research into handheld games and let you guys know what my picks are for the holiday season as far as handheld games are concerned good life choices because they are making a little bit of a comeback these days yeah maybe dan can tell us about how lame pc gaming is this holiday season pc games never die yeah more and more people that i know are going to pc gaming because you know what happens when you have a game that gets old and tired people forget about for for a few years and someone says you know what i'm gonna mod the crap out of that game and everyone starts playing it again. Yeah. When I'm done with a game, I just trade it in. I don't really hang on to that stuff. When I'm done with a game, it doesn't take up any space. 
with the oh, downloads it, all the way. But it does. It's just not physical space. Well, let Valve and Steam worry about that. Aw, uh, oh, man, Dan, it's good to be back. It is. I miss this. I miss you, Dan. Weirdest thing happened in New York, actually. What was that? Someone actually recognized my name and said, I like your videos. Yeah, when I, I was at the comic book store that I work at in uh, good old Menor, Ohio, and a customer told me that he really enjoyed Dedicated Server. And I was like, oh, you had seen it. Okay. So so for those two people out there who, who are, are true fans. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you so this, much. This episode goes out to you guys. Yeah. And then the other... You know who you are. You know who you are. Yeah, you know exactly who you are. Robert. <laughs> anyway. Um, no, we, we're happy to be back, guys. Yeah. We really appreciate the feedback and the comments, and I actually have gotten a few people asking me on Twitter and that when are you, when are you guys ever going to record again? We are back. Yes, it, we th- promise. Th- th- this isn't just a oh hey we're going to be doing this for a few weeks. We- we've we've radically worked our life and our schedules around making sure we get a weekly schedule out to you guys. Unless I land in a hospital and Jeremy has to learn how to edit a video that's, by himself in two that's, days that's never gonna happen you do all the work i'm, I'm just I'm, prob- I'm just here to provide the magic i'm probably gonna be bringing my laptop to the hospital when probably when i die yep well then it's been fun everyone it has so glad if dan anything particularly you want us to talk start off with next week let us know in the comments down below Make sure you click the subscribe button so you can hear our future episodes that we promise we're going to do every week. Or like that video to make sure we know how much you appreciate the sound of our voices. Yeah. And also, like I said earlier, like us on Facebook, um, dedicated server. We're going to try and ramp that up a little bit more, too. It's going to be great. Follow us on Twitter. I'm at Jeremy Ohio. I'm at Radical Dan with two N's. And until next week, I'm Jeremy. And I'm Dan. And this is the Dedicated Server. Outro! Woo!